Hey friends, welcome back to another video, or welcome if you are new. My name is Chelsea, and I'm happy to have you here today. So today, as you can see, we have this Go Iced Classic Iced Coffee Maker, and although I'm not a big coffee drinker, there are more times than not that I stop at McDonald's and get a mocha frappe, and it is delicious and they're pretty expensive like three to four dollars every time you go get one so when they ask me to work with them why not you know i am going to open this box and show you what all comes with it and hopefully i can make a cup of iced coffee i stopped at dollar general on the way home i got the folgers classic roast and then for the creamer i got the french vanilla Hopefully this is going to work. We're going to see. This is the first time I'm opening it with you guys. So we're going to see together. So let's just get right on into it. Multiple sizes compatible with cups from 450 milliliters up to 900. 1.25 liters water reservoir. Feel, brew, and enjoy. Thank you, Go Iced, for sending me this iced coffee maker. I really appreciate it, and I can't wait to try it out right now. And thank you, friends, for watching when I have sponsored content. I've already opened the box, and I'm going to show you what everything is, and then we're going to make a cup of coffee. So, iced coffee, that is. So, I hope that you enjoyed today's video, and if you do, please subscribe. We would love to have you join our YouTube family. Okay, so I've already opened the box. It come with the instruction manuals. Cup, that's a 70 milliliter cup, a little scooper thing. It come with the Go Iced Coffee Cup with the lid and the straw. Here's the coffee maker. So you've got the power button and the brew button, and then you got four sizes of the coffee that you can make or brew or whatever. And then here is the water reservoir and you just put your water in here and it does have a max line it does hold 42 ounces and you can take it off it is removable so that is good and the scoop here that I was telling you about it's got the four different lines of the sizes of coffee that you could brew and that just goes up here with the size the four back here so it just lets you know if you just want to make a small cup then you would just put it on the first line and then when you go up here to cut it on and to brew it you just put it on the first thing that you put enough coffee in there for okay and then when you go and open this and then here is your little cup that you put your coffee grinds in it does not take any k cups or anything like that just regular old coffee grinds and i got the folgers classic roast that's what i'm going to be using and it just opens up right up here up front and then you just it's got a little mesh thing right here so that you can see or whatever and it does have a max line in there back up and then stick it back in there and then close it and voila there it is and here is the cup that it come with it you just take it off and then it pops right back on there so that's nice and then you just take the cup and then it fits right in there so i'm just going to get my water in my cup so i'm take the top off and then i'm just going to pour my water in And then I'm gonna put the lid back on there and we're gonna turn it back around. Okay, and then I'm gonna open this right here and get my little cup out so that I can put my coffee grounds. I'm doing mine to the first line right here. Gonna pour it in there and it's under the max line so we're good to go. I'm gonna close it and then put it back in there and then shut it. I only have this kind of ice for right now, so just gonna throw all my ice that I want in there. I think that'll be good enough. I'm just gonna stick my cup in here. I'm gonna pick this one because that's how much coffee grounds in there. It should make about a six ounce cup, I'm thinking. So, and then just hit brew. And it's done. 
it didn't fill it all the way up because I only made about six ounces. So half a cup is good. We can start with this because if I don't like it, I don't want to waste it. So this is good, but you have to go by the chart. And it's in milliliters. And I know that this top one right here is about six ounces. It's like six, eight, twelve, and then fourteen for the bottom, I think. So you just have to go based on what you want and how much coffee you want to drink. So that's about all that is. And you want to keep these until you get used to it because it's a size guide and stuff. So that'll help you out. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my iced coffee out. And this is what it is looking like so far. And I'm going to put my cream creamer in. And I just got the French Vanilla Delight International Delight kind brand. Pour that in. I don't know how much I need. As time for the taste test. Did I do it right or did I totally butcher it? I need some more. I meant I need some milk. So I added some milk and it was much better and I really liked it. I Ooh, so enjoyed it. That's good. Now that's really good. This is something that I'm really happy about because I wasn't too sure if I was gonna like it or not. And that first taste with not enough creamer was awful. I'll be the first one to tell you. But when I fixed it and put more creamer in there, it's really good. So. <sighs> yes. You should get you one. At least go check it out. I love how it comes with the cup. That's awesome.